Hey guys, what is up? This is James and welcome to a new video. Black Friday is just knocking on the door and there are lots of deals going on right now. And if you're a video editor, what can you purchase? You can purchase some templates, some presets, some LUTs, right? And just imagine if you can buy all the templates that you need, all the presets, all the LUTs, all the text style from one place with a discounted price. Let me show you. So if I go to Ajo's website, you can see I want it all bundled for lifetime. And the original price is $8,412 and you can purchase it for $149 if you buy it right now. And you'll get 50 plus pack which includes some transition pack, some presets, some element pack, some sound effect and AI voice generator, prism, patterns, neon titles, broken glass, VHS, messenger toolkit, cyberpunk HUD, cyberpunk HUD2, cyberpunk glitch etc etc huge pack right you can buy it for 149 dollar and if you want to buy film vfx bundle you can buy it for 347 with a discounted price of course and trimly digital vfx bundle you can buy it for 347 dollar if you want to buy all those bundles together you can select this one which is black friday mega bundle that will cost 747 dollar only so if you are a video editor and if you need a lot of templates pack presets pack and lots of toolkits you can choose this one right today i'm going to show you how you can use a juice pack manager and if you buy i want it all bundle what you're gonna get so here in premiere pro i can open a juice pack manager just by going here window and then if i go to extension a juice pack manager 4 then it will open a new window and from there we can access ajus pack manager right this is the ajus pack manager if you haven't installed ajus pack manager you have to go to their website then go to free plugin section and from there you can download the plugin for your system so here if you're using mac you can just click on for mac or if you're using windows you can click on windows after downloading the pack you can install that pack and after installing it will be available here on this section which is windows then extension then ajus pack manager Four, right you will get this window here you will get this home screen first you need to sign in to your account from here just go here and then sign in to your account you'll get the purchase pack which is this one i have already got i want it all bundle and that includes these packs and you'll get some free packs which is this one starter pack sound effect and starter pack vfx so if i go to a starter pack i can see there are lots of elements that you can use for free and if you go to their sound effect section you can use the sound effect right there are lots of sound effect available that you can use for free so let's see how we can customize a just pack manager you can go here then sign in and first thing you need to do which is settings and there you have to change the location where a juice pack manager save all the assets that downloads right i have choose a separate folder because if you use the default folder it will fill up your c drive or the default drive very quickly so make sure you have changed the drive then click ok and then go to purchase section and download any pack that you want if you want to download any pack just click there then it will download the pack after downloading you will be able to use so today i'm going to show you this five pack that i have used several times for my project the first one is youtube pack i make video for youtube so i need to use all those subscribe button like button end screen very frequently suppose i want to use this subscribe button what i can do i can go here suppose i want to input it here so i can place my playhead here then go to pack manager and i can select the pack that i want to use suppose i want to use this one just double click here then it will download that subscribe button and it will input that subscribe button on my project yeah you can see it has imported the subscribe button here just change the position a little bit if it needs right so you can customize this button how suppose i have played the placeholder is empty i want to replace that image with my image i can just double click here then it will open essential graphics panel and from here you can change the image here on this placeholder replace from finder and then select a photo that you want to use suppose i want to use this photo right so i'm clicking open it will open that photo right if i now play it back you can see the subscribe button has been changed if you want to change the channel name you can go here and then write your name it will be updated automatically so now james prince subscribe so very easy to use you can use these buttons for your project 
very easily the next one is seamless transition so here i have already imported some transition if i play it back you can see a fade transition then a whip transition and here there is a zoom transition so we can use this transition from this pack and i really love this pack which is seamless transition there are lots of transition that can be used for your projects and if you have this transition pack believe me you don't need any kinds of transition further if i want to use any transition from this pack i can just select a transition it will be applied automatically suppose i delete this one and i want to apply transition here on this section i have to go there and then if i just double click it will download that transition and it will apply that transition on that spot yeah it's done so here it will apply that transition on that section now i can play that section you can see it has also included a sound effect along with that transition so very very easy to use also you will get some fade transition fisheye transition flip transition pixelate transition shake transition etc etc the next one is glitch transition pack this one is very interesting and i really love this transition pack so if i delete this transition i can go there and i can just apply a glitch transition there are some people who love to use glitch transition a lot and i am one of those so if i just double click here it will download that transition and it will apply that transition here on this section right and once it download that transition for the first time you will able to apply the transition very quickly it will not need to download the transition again and again before applying the transition make sure you have downloaded that transition so that you can save some time right so here if i play it back this is a very heavy transition so you may need to render the in and out point just select in and out point then press enter on your keyboard and you will be able to see the transition just wait for a second so that it finish the render so here you can see the transition so we have 25 different glitch transition here on this pack the next one is animated emoji if you are making shorts video you may need to use some emoji along with the captions and that kind of scenario you can use the animated emoji pack if i go to animated emoji pack you can see there are a lots of animated emoji that you can use suppose i want to use this emoji from this section which is this camera i can just go here on my video section where i want to use this camera emoji right and then i can go to the edge pack manager double click here it will import that emoji here on this section just wait for a second it will import the emoji here you can see the emoji have been imported right here you can see the emoji has been imported and this is our emoji you can just click and drag it here to change the position then you can cut the, the section suppose you want to use this much then select the emoji go to effects control panel and here you can change the position suppose i want to make it a little bit smaller what i can do i can just click and drag it just like that to make it smaller i can change the position of that camera icon here right now if i play it back it will pop up from this section the next one is text animation you may need to animate your text again and again that kind of scenario you can use the text animation pack right suppose i want to include a text here on this section i can go to ajus pack manager then i can go to text animation here you will see a lots of text animation available you can just double click here to import the text animation here on your project it will import the text animation on that exact position just wait for a while sometimes it really takes a little bit longer than i like so it has imported the text animation here if i play it back you'll see the text animation is here right so here again if i play it back this is the text animation you can double click to change the text right whatever you want it will be updated automatically so that's it that is how you can use ajus pack manager if i go to ajus pack manager again you can see a lots of templates pack that you can download and you can use for your next project and i'll suggest you to buy the ajus pack right now because huge huge mega sale is going on right you can buy all those packs for $149 only so check the link in the description so that's all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video you can give me a thumbs up if you're new to this channel and want to learn adobe premiere for video editing you can subscribe to this channel to get 
more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one and then goodbye